welcome kindred spirits to a place of positivity, passion, and purpose. Hello, YouTube friends. Join us as we unravel the mysteries surrounding Kuk. 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 Archaic German, Vagel, is a Croatian island in the northern Adriatic Sea, located near Rijka in the Bay of Kvarna and part of Primoj Gorski Kota County. Kuk is tied with Kriz as the largest Adriatic island, depending on the methodology used to measure the coastline. Kuk is the most populous island in the Adriatic, with multiple towns and villages that contain a total of 19,916 2021 inhabitants. As we enter this new chapter, let's navigate the complexities of prehistory and unravel its multifaceted nature. Archaeological findings indicate that the island was inhabited continuously since Neolithic, although very few information about the earliest people is known. In later periods, Greek and Latin sources refer to ancient Greek or Curator Latin as one of the Apsitidian or Electridian islands held by the people known as Libanians. The Libanians called the island Curicum, which name is assumed to be given the island by its original inhabitants. There are the remains of prehistoric settlements near Dragobayanska, as well as Bronze and Iron Age earthworks near Malinska, Dobrin, Vrbnik and Boka. Moving ahead, let's uncover the hidden gems within Roman era and discover their significance. Kruk came under Roman rule once they defeated the Libanians. The town of Kruk-Kurikum became a town with Italic law whose status evolved to give it the rights of a municipality. Nothing is known about the internal organizations of the town of Kruk during this time. Near the present-day Franciscan monastery, the remains of thermal baths have been found. The defensive walls of Roman Curicum were among the most secure of all the towns on the eastern Adriatic fortified by the Romans. Work began on their construction during the Civil War in Rome 50 BCE and they were further strengthened in as of the 2nd century CE to enable them to withstand attacks by the Quadi and Marcomanni who were at that time threatening the Adriatic. Not far from Crook in 49 BC there was a decisive sea battle between Caesar and Pompey, which was described impressively by the Roman writer Lucan CE in his work Pharsalia. When the empire was divided, Crook came under the Eastern Roman Empire. As we progress, let's zoom in on migration period and examine its role in shaping our overall narrative. The walls of the town of Kuk could not withstand attacks by the Avars 7th century, but in contrast to Salona, Skadana and Jonah, life in Kuk quickly returned to normal, and Kuk functioned as one of the Dalmatian city-states. The Croats penetrated into the town on several occasions. They retained many of the Roman names they found there and so it is said that Kuk has a mosaic dialect. Following the Treaty of Aachen 812 the entire island was ceded to the Byzantine Empire and was governed according to the norms of that empire. During the reign of Emperor Constantine Porphyrogenitus 10th century, Kuk was known as Vecla, of which the Romanized variant, also used by the Venetians, was Viglia. In the following segment, we'll be examining reign of Croatian counts and kings in greater detail. There are no extant documents showing when Kuk became part of the Croatian state. It is known that from around 875 the Byzantine town paid the Croatian rulers 110 gold pieces a year to be able peacefully to keep their hold there. While the Croatian state was being established, Kuk found itself on the Venetians' route to the Mediterranean. The Venetians conquered the town for the first time in 1001, and from then Kuk's history was closely linked with the history of the Republic of Venice for seven centuries. During the reign of Peter Kriema IV the Croatian rulers regained their power, but the Venetians took Kuk for the second time in 1118. Get ready for an exciting exploration as we unravel the mysteries of Reign of the Cook Counts from 1430 on the Frankopan family. Reign of the Cook Counts from 1430 on the Frankopan family. When the Venetians conquered Cook for the second time in 1118, the local noble family, the unknown Dugems, received Cook as part of a pact with Venice, and they became counts. When Dugem died in 1163, Venice allowed his sons to make their position hereditary, 
after a payment of 350 Byzantine gold pieces as tax. In a short time the accounts became so powerful that at one time from 1244 to 1260, Venice rescinded their authority. This failed to impede their rise, however. They increased economic exploitation, but they also endeavoured to strengthen old traditions and rites with various statutes the Vinodal Code 1288 and the Vignic Statute 1388. Dujum's youngest son, who died in 1209, succeeded in extending his authority to the mainland, began to serve the Croatian-Hungarian king and received the district of Modru. Due to his economic strength and social standing, his opponents fought each other for his favour. The counts became so strong that no power could threaten them until the Turks. Members of his family were leaders in Split, Troga and Sen, and from 1390 to one of them Ivan V became a Croatian Dalmatian ban. In 1430 they took the surname Frankupan Frangipan, claiming to have Roman origins. That year they adopted a coat of arms showing two lions breaking a piece of bread Latin, frangipanum, break bread. From 1449, the descendants of Nicola Ivy founded eight branches of his family, and together with the Zwinski Counts were the ruling feudal family in the whole of Croatia right up to 1671. The Frangipans produced seven Croatian bands, and many of them were patrons of Croatian artists. Ivan V. I. I. Frankopan in particular was the only prince of the semi-independent Principality of Kruk. He also promoted the settlement of Morlocks and Vax originally Romanians who later split into Istro-Romanians in the island specifically in the areas of Dubonica and Poljica and between the castles of Dobrin and Omil to have a bigger manpower. Thus, these Istro-Romanians would form a community in Kuk that would influence the local Croatian dialect and lead several toponyms on the island. The Istro-Romanians of Kuk disappeared in 1875 after the death of the last speaker of the local Istro-Romanian dialect, which some Croatian scholars named Kuk-Romanian. Nowadays, this ethnic group only inhabits Istria. Get ready to uncover the mysteries surrounding Venetian rule as we navigate its intriguing terrain. Venetian rule. The island of Kuk was a final Adriatic island to become part of the Venetian Empire. Due to its location, proximity to the Usks of Sen, it served as a lookout point, as well as first line of defence against the Usks. From that time on, the ruler was a Venetian noble but the small and the large councils both held a certain autonomy. The doge controlled the clergy but public documents were written in a glagolitic script, which was widespread here more than anywhere else. At the beginning of 16th century the inhabitants of inland Croatia began to settle in on Kruk, as a result of their flight from the Ottoman Turk invasions. Nonetheless, Kruk still saw a decline, just like all the other Venetian lands. In year 1527 the town was recorded to have 10,461 inhabitants, while in 1527 it had 8,000. Now, we shift our focus to Austrian rule, a topic that deserves our attention. Austrian rule over the island came after the fall of Venice in 1797 and was briefly interrupted by the existence of Napoleon's Illyrian provinces. In 1822 the Austrians separated the island from Dalmatia and linked it to Istria, therefore bringing the islands of Kruk, Kriz and Loen under direct rule from Vienna. This switch contributed to the appearance of Croatian national revival, so along with nearby coastal town Karstov, the town of Kruk played a major role in spreading of Croatian education and culture in the area. As we progress through this video, let's shift our attention towards 20th century and uncover its hidden depths. The Italian occupation was brief, and Kuk was handed over to Croatia, then in Yugoslavia, by the Treaty of Rapallo, Italy took Kuk again in the Second World War, and German occupation followed from 1943 to 1945. The post-war development of Kuk was led by tourism. The building of an airport and then a bridge over to the mainland ensures the future of the development of tourism on this island. In Omil there has also been industrial development. The bridge is at the north end of Cook Island and uses the small island of Otoe Marco Street Marks Islet as a mid-support. 
In this segment, we'll be unraveling the complexities of economics and infrastructure and exploring its multifaceted nature. Cook is located rather near the mainland and has been connected to it via a 1430 meters to arch concrete bridge since 1980, one of the longest concrete bridges in the world. Due to the proximity to the city of Rijka, O'Meal also hosts the Rijka International Airport as well as an oil terminal representing a part of the port of Rijka and a petrochemical plant. Since January 2021 is an active quick LNG terminal storage and regasification ship moored in O'Meal, north of Kuk, able to receive large LNG carrier ships and then to pump the gas into trans-European pipelines. Kuk is a popular tourist destination due to its proximity to Slovenia, southern Germany, Austria, and northern Italy. Since the collapse of the Eastern Bloc, many tourists have appeared from Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, and other former Eastern Bloc countries. As we enter this new phase, let's uncover the impact of Fiber Access Network on our broader topic. In 2009, the municipality started the project of building a fiber optic network on the whole area of the city, the town of Kuk, and 14 neighboring villages as part of the town infrastructure. Thereby the focus is on building the passive part of the network, which is the most expensive one and the prerequisite for service providers being able to provide ultra-fast internet connections and new e-services. The project is covering 6,243 inhabitants and 6,000 households. The first issue was the elaboration of a cost-benefit analysis in followed by a preliminary network planning. At the beginning of 2013, the building authority issued the relevant approval. The next step is the elaboration of the main project, which is the condition for getting the building permission and by which the project can apply for EU structural funds. As we progress, let's zoom in on geography and examine its role in shaping our overall narrative. Kuk is like many Croatian islands, it is rocky and hilly. The rock is mostly cast. The southeast portion of the island is mostly bare as a result of the Bora winds. Some prominent features include Ebzova, the highest point at 568 Mzlvela Luka Harbour on the southeastern end of the island. Now, let's dig deeper into culture and religion and unveil the hidden treasures it holds within. Kuk has historically been a center of Croatian culture. Various literature in the Glagolitic alphabet was created and in part preserved on Kuk, notably the Boca tablet, one of the oldest preserved texts in Croatian. A monastery lies on the small island of Colgen in a bay off the coast of Kuk. Kuk belonged to the Republic of Venice during much of the Middle Ages until its dissolution, when its destinies followed those of Dalmatia. It became part of the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes later called Yugoslavia after World War I, in 1920. After that date, the village of Vedic remained the only predominantly Italian-speaking municipality in Yugoslavia. After World War II, most of the Italians left. The island of Kuk is a participant in the 2020 European Capital of Culture project. Through the program 27 Neighbourhoods, the city of Kuk, Malinska and Vubik will be involved in different events during the entire year. Along with them, the municipality of Boca participated in the program Lungamar Art, based on which a permanent art installation drops was set up, which puts emphasis on traditional drywall architecture. As we enter this new phase, let's analyse monuments and sites from different angles and evaluate its significance. The Boca tablet in Duranda that was made in 1100 Church of Street Lucy in Duranda, where the famous Boca tablet was found art installation drops on the hill above Boca Kuk Cathedral that is dedicated to the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Kuk Bridge which connects the island of Kuk with the mainland since July 19, 1980. In the upcoming section, we'll be dissecting language and exploring its intricate connections to our topic. Kuk is well known for its historical language diversity. The Middle Chakavian dialect of Croatian is the primary dialect used on the island. Five languages used to be spoken on the island, Venetian, Italian, Croatian, Dalmatian and Istro-Romanian, although the latter to have gone extinct in the island and everywhere else in the case of Dalmatian. 
the Croatian dialect of Kazistro romanian influence. The spotlight now falls on municipalities as we delve deeper into its details. The municipalities and larger settlements on Kuk include the eponymous city of Kuk, with 6,243 inhabitants 2011, located at Omil, 2,987 people Malinska Dubonica Malinska, the capital of municipality Italian, Malinska, German, Jurischel, 3,142 people Punit Italian, Pont, German, Sankt Maria, 1,953 people Dobrin Italian, Dobridno, German, Dobron, 2,023 people Bocca Italian, Beska, German, Wechk, 1,668 people Vermic Italian, Verbenico, German, Verbnik, 1,270 people Gabongen, Kroika Anton, Pinezi, Glavotok, Valbisk, and Jivis, Polgis, Nenadis, Vitivid, Mahulgis. As we enter this new phase, let's analyze Roman Catholic bishopric from different angles and evaluate its significance. Church of Street Dunit. In the next portion, we'll be immersing ourselves in the realm of other and examining its broader implications. The 45th parallel north passes through the island of Kuk, making it positioned halfway between the equator and the North Pole. The crossing of the 45th parallel is marked with a signpost. Genetics. The frequency of haplogroup I, rare elsewhere in Croatia and most of Europe, is high among the population. Popular culture. The fictional island of Run from the video game Operation Flashpoint, Cold War Crisis is based on Kuk. Third season of American TV series The Witcher was filmed on Kuk in April 2022. Remember, knowledge is power. Keep learning, growing, and exploring.